Double fisting over there? Yeah. You handled one? I got you, buddy. I got you. Stand down. Big man. There's one that was really fat, and you could hold it like this and wiggle its belly, and its stomach would just flop back and forth. What is it? <laughs> Can or late? All right. You got all of them. Is that everybody? That's all of them. All right. Yeah, Chris. I was I was right. <laughs> so this one's not. Well, maybe a little. This is. <laughs> these are all different species, aren't Cel they? Yeah. So these are these are celebensis. These are microlophus. These two are. These two are celebensis. This is a male. That's a female. Okay. And then this is a female microlophus. That's the male. So they're both sexually dimorphic and sexually diachromatic, meaning they're different based on their sexes and the coloration between the sex. So I actually try to go and hold this one. I'll take this one quickly. So male celebensis. That's why I call them Sulawesi black because the males get that crazy black coloration on the head. The fin's going to be completely black, and eventually as he matures, his body color will be this gold color like the female. Now, the females don't get the completely dark head. They just get the dark mask. That's the big distinguishing characteristic between female celebensis and female microlophus, aside from the dorsolateral scales. The other thing, too, obviously, is, again, they're sexually dimorphic. The males get the big fin. He's young. This is going to get a lot bigger, a lot taller. Um, my buddy Ryan Chanel had the original tree on it. My Corette had in 2016. And I mean, the male was about four feet and had a film probably five inches tall. Like, she's not done growing by any means. Um, the female, she's pretty much going to look like this for the rest of her life, except for the fact that she's going to get like three and a half feet or so. But um, they're super cool. And you compare them to the micros that Cody's got. Microlophus, the Latin name on that is ironic because it means small nasal crest, uh, but the key distinguishing feature for that species is the presence of a nasal crest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the only reason it was named that is because the holotype specimen collected by Bleeker in 1860 was a juvenile, and so it had an underdeveloped nasal crest. So they're like, oh, it's got a small what? nasal crest. What is it's the purpose of the scale thing? Yeah. Or the, the wind? Uh, what would you call that? Uh, it runs on water. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one's yeah. larger? Huh, Microlophus. That's the largest of the genus. And how big will these guys get? About three and a half. From nose to tail? Snout to vent length and top end. Probably a foot. Yeah, yeah just say like 10, 10, 10 to 14 months. Yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. Really? Like, absolutely yeah. massive. These right. ones are like stubby tails. Yeah, that one had it nipped oh, off. Which I'm That's got a full tail. Yeah, that one's for that scene. Yeah. Look at that nose. Mackenzie still brings hers to the yeah. expo every time. She's got some, I believe um, she's getting in a big female cell or male cell. So, the reason you brought these out, what was the reason you took these out? Brian wanted me to suck some for him. Okay. And he's got a. Uh, now, question. Sounds like you can sex them without grabbing them. You knew right off the bat by looking in there what their sex was like. You just wanted to grab them. So how can <laughs> you tell the sex? Because well, after you said that, I'm like, okay, well, I can tell uh, the sex. Color, coloration. <laughs> color? Okay. So, like, she's, so he's, the fact that these are the same size, pretty much. But he's so much darker. Okay. And look at his fin, too, compared to hers. Yeah. Look at how his is a lot more razor. She's got a good size one. Like, females will get that uh, fin on the tail, but the males really pop that up as they that get bigger. That is fine. <laughs> I'm so fucking cool. 
They really are. And where are these native to? Sulawesi. Both where is Sulawesi? It's an uh, island in Indonesia. In between Papua New Guinea and the Philippines. Oh, yeah. Here's your stuff. Sorry. How old are these guys? I'd say probably just over a year or so. Okay. I mean, Brian doesn't handle them, and he actually keeps them up. Like, it is hot in there. Is it? They need high end. So I think the biggest reason people get these and then kill them is they put them in, like, an exoterra. Like, the ambient heat. Too much ventilation yeah. and shit. Yeah. 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 Like, the ambient heat in this guy all night. Oh, I not bet. hotter. When I visited my buddy in Florida who brings these, I was working in his room, which he keeps heated, and the AC only kicks on if it gets above 92. And then, wow. yeah, like and they're just sitting there under because they don't like a hot yeah they don't like a hot basking spot but it's like they live on giant boulders right next to the river so you don't have any tree cover so even though if the day is 90 right like a monitor in the forest sure the air is 90 but it's constantly in the shade these guys sit yeah, right lower, where it's yeah. Yeah. Like they need that high ambient heat. That's honestly why I think so many people fail with them. That little third eye is more prominent in these yeah, guys. The pariah yeah. lie. Oh. I think there was a research study done a while back where they were doing it on pencils or trying to try to lie a lot. And not just obviously detected like light, but also uh, some noise. So they need to wait for them to show them. Okay. Which is pretty freaking cool. I mean, there's gotta be a little bit Yeah, they're just like, okay. Just pin their front arms. <laughs> 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 okay. I won't fight it. Ready? Because I want to get a photo of the sexual dimorphism on them. 